In 2013, Bristol was shocked by a racist murder. An Iranian man named Bijan Ibrahimi was beaten to death and burned. A police officer and a community support officer have been found guilty of misconduct in public office over their handling. Can you ask him when he's going to come because I don't feel safe? By then, within an hour of this, Bijan Ibrahimi's 18th call in two days to the Police 101 number, Lee James has beaten him to death and with a neighbour hauled his body to the side of a road where, as you can just make out in this footage, he douses him in white spirit and leaves his body to burn. Since first hearing about it in the news, director Hamid Karadin felt the need to know more about the events that led to such a tragic and horrible crime. When I heard what happened on the news, I was simply shocked, speechless. It was clear to me that this brutal murder was committed in the name of hatred and racism. My friend and I then decided to make a documentary about it. We researched day and night and finally decided to go to Bristol. We interviewed Bijan relatives and friends, including his sister. Finally, in 2014, the documentary was released. As I was making the documentary, I realized that a story was growing inside me. It was not only a story about hate, but also, most importantly, about love. The title comes from the symbolic connection between John of Arc and Bijan. When someone kills by burning, their intention is to eliminate every trace of their enemy, to make them vanish forever. The essence of Jeanne of Arc survived, and she became a saint. I believe Bijan also deserves to survive, becoming a symbol of the fight to stop racism. Through this film, I want him to be a symbol, not just of hate, but also of love. A full production crew then came on board, from director of photography, Mr. Sharia Asadi, to music composer, Mr. Saeed Shabani. They all decided to work for free until the film is sold. Everyone fell in love with the script and thought that Joan of Arc deserved to come to life. In addition, people like George Galloway have endorsed the project and are actively helping to promote it. We need £50,000 to start filming, and we decided to reach out to the Kike Starter community to ask for help. There are many ways to become part of this project, and you can learn more about it on the rest of the page. If you are unable to make a donation, join us in challenging racism by spreading the word. Thanks.